Okay, so today we're going to look at the fisherman's rib, um, the full fisherman's rib as opposed to the half fisherman's rib. There are different ways of doing this. Um, none of them are wrong. Uh, it's personal preference and this is the one that I think works really nicely. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you today. Um, this one is using mainly knit stitches. Um, so what I've done in advance is just cast on 20 stitches onto my needle. And to get started, so if you were doing say a, a cardigan in this and you didn't want a ribbon at the bottom, you can start it right from the bottom of the work and just go, keep going up. Um, so this is how you would get started. So the first row, we're just gonna do a standard row of knit. And this is to give us something to work fisherman's rib into. You can't start working fisherman's rib on your first row and you'll see why hopefully in a minute. So, so that's the first of the foundation rows and it's just standard knit row so I've turned it round and got in effect what looks like my pearl side. Um, this row is, it's really a two stage foundation row, this one. So I've done row one, I'm now going to do row two um, and then we'll actually get into the true fisherman's rib. So you can either knit or slip that first one. I like to knit the first stitch and then we're going to knit one below. So I'm not going into this bit, I'm going in here. And then knitting as normal, but slipping both that loop and that loop off. And it pulls and stretches a little bit, don't worry about that. I'm now going to work a purl stitch for the next one. And then another knit one below or K1B. Okay. Pearl one, K1B, Pearl one, K1B, Pearl one. So we need to say so this is the second foundation row, but once you've done this, we then work a little bit differently for all the other rows. So Pearl one, K1B, Pearl one, K1B, Pearl one, K1B, and then I'm going to make a Pearl one, but then my very last one is just going to be a standard knit. You're not going in any lower or doing anything fancy. You want a nice neat stitch at the end. <clears throat> So those are the two foundation rows and we're now going to work the actual fish, start working the actual fisherman's rib. So you can either knit or slip your first stitch. So that's that one. Now we're going to do a K1B here. So I'm missing that going into the loop underneath it. That's your K1B, knit one below. Then, rather than purling, I'm going to knit the next stitch. Okay, and then K1B. Then knit one. K1B. Knit one. K1B. Knit one. One B, knit one all the way across the row. Knit one. Okay, one B. Knit one, and then the final stitch. I'm going to knit it, even though I've got a knit one next to it. That final stitch is always going to be a knit one generally because you'll be picking up an edging or sewing something together so you need a nice simple stitch at the end. So 
here you can see obviously you look to have your row of pearls which you do at that point but now we're going to start again with knit, knit or slip your first stitch then we're going with the K1B again so as you can see there you've got the stitch that's wrapped over and you've only got one loop here we're going in under that and we're going to knit it now here you can see if I just pop my needle there that I've got two loops so that was your K1B from the row below it we don't want to go into those this is your standard knit stitch so this is how you tell what you're doing next so the K1B only has one loop there so that's the K1B and then this next stitch as you can see like the last one has two loops already there so that's going to be a plain knit one so the single one is going to become the K1B and the double that you've got there is going to become a knit one K1B knit one so I think that's a great way of telling where you are on on the row so if you've only got the single you're doing a K1B you're doubling it up if you've already got the double you're just doing a nice simple knit so K1B knit one all the way to the end K1B knit one K1B knit one there and then knit your final stitch so kind of getting the idea here where it smooths off as you finish and you end up with your bobbly line there so let's just do one more so here you can see you've got the single so we're going to knit below then here you've got your double so we're going to just knit that one so a nice rhythm going K1B Knit one, K1B, knit one, and fairly quickly we start to see how the fisherman's rib builds up. It definitely takes longer to do, and it does take more yarn, and you get a very, very thick warm fabric which is why they partly why it became the the fisherman's rib because with the oiled yarns as well that they used it uh, kept the fisherman warm and dry so i've knit one and then i'm doing knit one b knit one knit one b and i would say take your time with this you do not want to go wrong it's not the easiest thing to pull back and catch your stitches so it's worth just knitting it sort of quite gently knit one and then I've got my final knit one at the end <coughs> you finish a row you end up with your smoother side at the front and your bobbly side at the back so I hope you found that useful that is just one way of doing the fisherman's rib there are other slight variations on this um, so obviously go with whatever your pattern says but hopefully that's just given you an insight into what you're doing and why okay see you in the next one bye